Assalamu alaikum. This is Majid Mahmoud recording for the daily reminder. We will cover five things insha'Allah. A verse, a question, a story, two authentic ahadith, and two action items. Bismillah. A day will come when there will only be two global currencies, not the dollar, pounds, nor the euro. They will be your good deeds and your bad deeds. On that day when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders for the scale, for the mizan to be brought forth, to weigh how heavy are your good deeds. And those with a heavy scale, they will have a wonderful and a pleasant life. Now, a question, how motivated are you to maximize the amount of hasanat in your bank account? How motivated are you to gain Allah's pleasure and to aim for the highest place in Jannah? This is the attitude every believer should have. Look at brother David. He is a 15 year old man who was interested in Islam in the UK. I had the honor and the blessing to hear him over the phone at 11.17 a.m. on a Monday. Hearing him say, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. 50 minutes after he became a Muslim. Brothers and sisters, 50 minutes. He emails me and he says, how do we get to the highest level in Jannah? Allahu Akbar. This is the attitude every believer should have. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And don't forget, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, al-jannah to mi'atu daraja. Jannah is of 100 degrees. Between two degrees, kama bayna samai wal ard. Like the distance between the heavens and the earth. Then he said, the best of them is a place called Al-Firdaus. And that's the most luxurious and most beautiful and fascinating place in all of Jannah. The roof of it is Allah's throne. From it, the rivers from Jannah start to flow. And he said, فَإِذَا سَأَلْتُمُ اللَّهِ And if you were to ever ask Allah, فَسَلُوهُ الْجَنَّةِ Then ask for Jannah al-Firdaus. فَسَلُوهُ الْفِرْدَوْسِ May Allah make me and you amongst them. This is the attitude me and you should have. When with that being said, the highlight of this video is a certain action, which is a certain good deed that hopefully you can implement as soon as possible because we only got few days left. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man saama Ramadan, thumma atba'ahu sitten min shawwal, whoever fasts the month of Ramadan, then follows it with fasting six days from the month of shawwal, what will happen? Kana ka siyam al-dahr. That person will be rewarded as if they fasted the whole entire year. Just add six days in the month after Ramadan, which is shawwal, and Allah will reward you with that. Allahu Akbar. A wise and a humble person can never say Allah does deserves all, only what we fasted in Ramadan. But fast more, work harder for the day where you see the scale, bi'ithnillah, your scale as heavy as mountains and mountains. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Now for the sisters that missed some of the fasting days in Ramadan. A numerous number of scholars, numerous number of scholars have said that it is okay to fast the six days of Shawwal. Then after you're done with that, you can make up the days that you fast in Ramadan. And they use the refer and they reference Aisha radiallahu anha, when she used to make up some of her Ramadan days that she missed in Sha'ban, which is one month right before Ramadan. And Allah knows best. With this being said, the two action items obviously is fasting the six days of Shawwal. And number two, which is very important, is for you to share this video. Perhaps, Wallahi, you never know. You might be a reason after sharing it for someone else to fast these six days. And the Prophet wasallam said, Adal ala al khayri The one who guides to what is good, he or she will get rewarded as if they did, they've done that good. May Allah accept from all of you. Don't forget to press share. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.